Hello, uh, good afternoon. This is uh, Ruth Pasuelo from Curvel.com and today I'm going to show you a trick on how to automatically import files with similar file name in Power BI. Let me show you what I mean. So this, this is quite a uh, usual scenario for a lot of companies where you get files with sales and you have uh, the files name by date, for example, sales 2016-01 January, sales 2016-02 February, and so on and so forth. And if you want to import those in Power BI, you would normally import one by one, which is not very, very uh, productive, if we would say so. So let me show you how to import them automatically. So here we have Power BI and we click on Edit Query. I have already imported Sales 2000 and this is actually 2016.01. So here's the file. So how to import the next files is fairly easy once you know the trick you go to view advanced editor and we're going to create a parameter we call it year month as table you will see what it does very and now this is what we want to iterate so we want uh, to change from 2016-01 to 2016-02 and etc. So we're going to change that. We use the concatenate and this is a number so we change number to text. Text to number, sorry. Number to text. And then instead of 2016-01 we're going to get this year month parameter. Year month and then concatenate and then we remove that okay click on done and now let's test if this works if we click on invoke it's asking us for the value of that parameter year month we write 2016-01 and here we get now let's try to invoke 2016.02 and here we get it so it's working perfect let's give this better name get data for example and now what we need is a table with all these years 2006.01.02.03 so if we go to home new source blank query and here we write 2016.01 to 2016.12 let's do one for the entire year and then we press enter and then we are going to transform that to a table and we give it a better name year month okay so now what we need to do is to substitute that or to feed the parameter that we created earlier with these columns so to do that you go to add column custom column and here we get get data it was the name of our previous table we have our new column to fill in the parameters and we click OK as you can see we have data for 2016-01 2016-02 so there's a table there but because we don't have data for the remaining months then it shows an error so before doing anything we're going to remove those errors 
otherwise you won't be able to do anything else. So, remove errors, and now we expand. And here we have. And let's remove the custom name that appears in front of every column name. So, so here we have year, month, sales and country for 2016-01 and 02. We give this a very name. Sales. And now close and apply. And here we have everything. So now here's a cool thing. If you go back there and then cells of March becomes available. The only thing you need to do is put it there. Come in here. I'm going to show you, you don't need to go to edit queries. I just want to, so you see, we have here five. Click on refresh preview and you see that all three comes available also. So yeah, automatically adds new Excel files as you add them to your folder here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below and have a nice evening. Bye.